Hi guys, welcome back. Two weeks ago I did a report on my uh, newly purchased Arangus and Agregum and today I will give you an update how they are doing. Alright, so let's start with the little baby of them. It is the Arangus Biloba. So I put it in semi-hydro and this one was quite easy to report and as you can see the roots are looking plump and green, very healthy and I think that this new leaf has grown just a tiny bit so I think this one is doing just okay, just great. So yeah, that's one. And this one is the Engregum Articulata. So of course it's also in semi-hydro. And the roots are not really green they're still healthy but the orchid itself it's just looking healthy it's very stiff it's not dehydrated so um, I think it will be just fine and I think the new relief has grown just a tiny bit so that is that and I just have, um, I don't know if you can see the hole, but there's a hole right here. And in the beginning I was um, putting the water inside, but I did not let the water stay in the reservoir because the roots are not used to that amount of moisture. So I just drained the water out of it and I did that for uh, the last two weeks. And since uh, well, actually this week, um, I just started to leave a little bit of water in here in the reservoir, and um, I think it will be okay. So yeah. And the next one. This is the Engregum sesquipedale, and it's just doing absolutely fantastic. So let me get it out of the pot and show the words okay there are not much roots visible um, but let me get you in closer because I discovered one very healthy new root that is growing inside the media all right so there are not many visible roots, but let's go in. And look at that. You see the new root tip? So that is the green root tip. It's a new root. And it's growing right down into the media. So that is such a good sign. And this leaf has grown a bit. And I have it in my south face facing windowsill. Um, it does get like two or three hours direct sunshine. But it is a bit suffering from the dry air this tip is really really dry and the way i have it on my windowsill this leaf tip is growing just uh, above my central heating so there's really a, a draft with warm dry air so i think it's because of that that the leaf is that dry 
So this is the um, Agricum sesquipedale. All right, and this is a Greekum Crestwood Tomorrow Star. Let me put a tag here so it will focus. There you go. So this was such a terrible reporting. Um, the roots were all very, very root bound into um, uh, a plug of sphagnum moss. And it was that root bound, it was like concrete. It was so solid. So I think I, I did not do a video for this one um, because this one I purchased a week later. Um, but I spent like two or three hours uh, with a tweezer picking all the moss out of the roots and soaking and picking out the moss and soaking again. So that was such a hassle. Um, and it was also in spike. Uh, no buds developing yet at the time. Um, so I took a risk. Um, I know that semi hydro is um, a perfect method to grow these orchids because um, when they are used to semi hydro um, and you want to report it, it's not gonna, going to be any problem at all. Um, so I took a risk and this is the result. So as you can see, it created two buds. They're still growing. And I think I might have a third one. So I'm very, very excited. I'm quite amazed um, that it didn't abort the whole flower spike and even produce buds. So that is very good. And here's the little cakey. Let me turn her in the light. So as you can see, this is a tiny cakey. Still looking good. And oops. the reason I also took the risk of reporting it into a completely new media was because there were uh, two tiny root tips starting. So I knew that when it didn't took off, after repotting, I also had a chance of these roots growing into the media and they will adjust. But um, those root tips are still growing, so that is good. And if I try to wiggle the plant, I can feel I have to make some effort to wiggle it in the container. So I think it's adjusting very, very well. And um, Obviously, I cannot look inside the pot, um, but I do think the roots adju adjusted very well. So yeah, excited. And once again, this is in Grey Crestroot Tomorrow Star. Okay, so this was my little update for my Engraycum and Arangus. Uh, converting them into a semi-hydro. Of course, I will give, give you another update when they are uh, in flower. So um, yeah, I will keep you posted. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.